Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and you could purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. New for 2019 and built in a limited series of 150 pieces, this is the Panerai Luminor Regatta Transat Classique 2019 PAM 956 47 millimeters in grade 5 titanium. It uses the Luminor 1950 case shape with an extravagant programmable flyback regatta timer. It's a chronograph plus, a timepiece that is immense on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist with a lug to lug span of 56.1 millimeters and a 20.7 millimeters thick. This is one of the thickest watches I have ever tested. I will say it didn't seem that thick on my wrist. I was going to guess 17 or 18. So in person, it's not quite as apparent, though it is thick once you pull out the caliper. Now you can see that, speaking of calipers, the spacing between the lugs is 26 millimeters, and the timepiece does feature a quick release lug system that we'll discuss in a moment. It's all titanium, grade 5, so as hard to scratch as steel, and effectively as light as aluminum. So for practical purposes, this is a very light watch. Eyes closed, I would have guessed about 42, 43 millimeters. So it doesn't feel like a 47 millimeter behemoth. The strap is a high grade Panerai, Italian made, vulcanized rubber, in a sort of cobalt blue. It's not quite navy. I told you about that quick release lug system on the bottom. You push the little trigger and then you press the bar through to release. It's both very secure and prevents you from testing your skill with a screwdriver or a strap tool against these immaculately set and finished lugs. The strap itself is remarkably supple for vulcanized rubber. It feels almost like silicone, though I'm assured it is vulcanized. You can see there are hollows on the underside to make it more flexible as well as to vent the wrist and a simple satin finished trap Zoidal Panerai pin buckle. I mentioned to Luminor 1950 case. Note this is not the straight down tuna can like Betterini case that you would have known on a conventional Alessandro Betterini 44 millimeter Panerai Luminor from the 90s. This is the post 2002 Luminor 1950 case. Crown guard, as ever, there is a roller cam inside as. Post-2007, the traditional cam locking system gained a little roller bearing known as the runner that smooths the action, but it still compresses the crown so that all you have to do is pull the trigger and now you can set and wind or push it down and now you have 100 meter water resistance. Des Designed during the 1940s and implemented in the 50s, it is a patented Panerai design that offers more protection than shouldered crown guards, also makes it harder to jump in the water with your crown unlocked, and because it merely compresses and decompresses the seals, it doesn't require you to thread the stem through the seal, thus degrading the seal. It's a brilliant device. Now you can see this watch features a blue sandwich style dial that is a blue disc with the indices as well as the numerals cut on top of a solid disc of Super Luminova. So it has a wonderful 3D dimensional glow at night. You'll see that three-dimensional glow in the loom shot at the end. Sapphire over the top, you can see polished bezel contrasting with satin of the case, and then the dial features a tachymeter outboard that is calibrated in very low units. So the fastest object you could possibly be timing is 30 units. So since this is a nautical watch, we're going to assume that is 30 knots. Now the way the chronograph works, as you can see, it is a chronograph with both radial minutes and radial seconds, like an old Lamagna. 5100 for example. Now the timepiece also features a flyback functionality so you can press restart all with a single action. Press, restart, reset. This allows you to time events that occur in rapid succession. Of course you can also stop, restart, or reset start, stop, reset, but or you can also start and watch the minutes scroll along the dial. I love that reset, it's just a lot of fun. Now let's go to the programmable feature. You have a timer that is effectively a countdown device for regatta. So however many minutes you need to set the timer so you know how many minutes remain until the start of your match, which is a race within a regatta, you can easily do this. Now if you want to reset everything, you just press the flyback trigger. Otherwise, you will start the chronograph and it will start scrolling and it will always be, in this example, five minutes behind where it normally would indicate on elapsed time. Now there are a few other features that I happen to really enjoy here, starting with the zero reset seconds. So you pull the crown, note the constant seconds over at nine o'clock. Not only does it hack and stop the seconds, but there is a zero reset system 
that allows me to more easily synchronize to a reference time. You'll also note that when I pull the crown out one notch, I have a time zone style independent hour hand. So the watch continues to keep time. Heck, the watch can even continue to operate as a chronograph as I change my time zone while traveling. Note, the dial is beautifully balanced with a twin register layout thanks to the central minutes and the absence of a date. Fully loomed, the watch is an absolute pleasure to see at night. 100 meters water resistant. Make no mistake, this is an aquatic timepiece. And then on the case back, you have the Transat Classique route from the Canary Islands to St. Kitts. This is a transatlantic 3,000 nautical mile sailing race that is contested by vintage yachts, including Panerai's own in-house classic yacht, the Elaine. You can see the race online, and you can see the watch on thewatchbox.com. See it and make it yours. And we're back with the Panerai PAM956 by night. I want to shout out the fact that this 39 joule manufacturer caliber 9001-R features both vertical clutch and column wheel architecture. The column wheel making it crisp and premium. The vertical clutch making the engagement smooth. So there's no jump to the seconds hand when you start the watch. You can also leave the chronograph running with no hazard to the movement thanks to the vertical clutch architecture.